Here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. I went to a, an ammunition factory this past week. Went up to Lewiston, Idaho, toward the CCI Spear factory. It's been around a long time, right there on the banks of the Snake River. Cool factory. Of course, CCI known major manufacturer of 22 Rimfire, or actually, I should just say Rimfire now, because 22, 22 Magnum, 17 uh, HMR, making zillions of rounds, lots of uh, handgun ammo being cranked out of there, a lot of bullets being made right there. They even have their own primer making facility. It's in a slightly separate location, but still in town there. We went and toured that as well. Very interesting and, and fascinating process. It's manufacturing. I mean, it's you know, it's a factory. They have 1,400 people working there, and they would hire another 100 if they could get them right now. Hard to find workers. Um, they're always advertising for that. In fact, we stopped by, uh, saw our great affiliate there, KOZE, Cozy Radio. Uh, wonderful people there. Got to see them. Uh, actually went by a cool gun store in Lewiston, the Firing Edge. Let's see. That was a great place. Uh, stopped in, we're greeted by Minion the dog. <laughs> Had a good time there. This was a small place that is chock-a-block full of stuff. It's like one of those that tempts you to go walk around the, the aisles and poke around and say, there's got to be something cool in here. And if you poke around, you're probably going to find it there. It's called the Firing Edge there in Lewiston. But in touring the, um, the factory, the CCI Spear factory, and of course, I'm asking questions. You know me. It's like, okay. And I know it's kind of proprietary how many rounds they can crank out in a day. But what I did find is, I mean, not state secrets or anything. They're loading millions, multiples of millions of rounds a day in this one factory. And they are loading somewhere on the order of 2 million plus primers. They're making 2 million primers a day. And this is just one ammunition factory, just one primer factory in the U.S. I'm just guessing. I don't have any inside information on this, okay? So I'm just spitballing this thing. But I think that if you put all the ammunition factories together in the U.S., they're probably turning out somewhere between 20 and 50 million rounds of ammunition a day. Can you imagine that? And we still have people saying, well, I can't find any ammo. And we can't find ammo for a lot of things. You can find nine and five, five, six. But a lot of other things still kind of in short supply. And these guys are running 24-7. They are running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There is no stopping anything. They're making as much as they can. Where's it all going? Well, several things. Certainly the military is buying a lot of ammo. Uh, we saw a bunch of ammo being made for Customs and Border Patrol, special ammo they get for them. Uh, law enforcement agencies are, are getting a lot of the ammo. But a lot of it's just being bought up by all these new gun owners. We have more than 10 million first-time gun owners who bought their first gun in the last couple of years. Well, they're all buying ammo. That's a significant increase in people in the marketplace who are buying. Because, you know, we'll say there's 100 million gun owners, and there probably are. But how many of those are actually active or out there shooting? I don't know, 10 million, 20 million? Well, if you had 10 million new people who are buying ammo for their brand new guns out there, you have significantly increased the number of shooters and the demand on the market. So it is getting better. I mean, now one thing to know, and they confirmed this, is I've said this for years, most of the primers that are made go into loaded ammo. They're not available for reloaders. I don't know what the percentage is, probably 90, 95% of the primers made go into loaded ammo. So they can make more ammo so they can send it to you. And then some make, some of them make it onto the market for reloaders. 